In this video, we embark on an incredible journey through the most beautiful discoveries of the universe, guided by the awe-inspiring James Webb Space Telescope. Join us as we witness the birth of stars, explore the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, and delve deeper into the origins of our universe. This is a journey unlike any other, showcasing the incredible capabilities of human ingenuity and the boundless wonders of our cosmos. So let's get into it. The birth and unveiling of the James Webb Telescope Astronomers recently celebrated the birthday of the James Webb Telescope, a birthday that deserved to be honored because it is unlike any other telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, developed by NASA with the help of the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, is the largest and most expensive telescope in the world at the time of its launch. On December 25, 2021, the James Webb was launched. Within a month, the telescope had reached an orbit 1.5 million kilometers, approximately 900,000 miles, from Earth. After the first image was released in July 2022, the James Webb revealed photographs that were all more amazing than the last, allowing astronomers to make beautiful discoveries. Unfolding the origins of the James Webb Telescope before you go exploring the universe, you need to know what makes the James Webb Telescope so unique. It took more than 30 years to complete the job. That's right, construction on the telescope began in 1989, and once again, everything was on the verge of being cancelled in 2011 when the original launch date of 2013 was announced. But why did the scientists take so long? Simply because the telescope's design has overcome numerous technological hurdles, not to mention the colossal expense overruns. The cost of production, which was anticipated at 3 billion US dollars in 2005, eventually reached 10 billion dollars. Thousands of people were involved in the project, and some scientists dedicated their whole careers to the design of the James Webb. This is hardly surprising given that it weighs over 6 tons and has a heat shield the size of a tennis court. Fortunately for science and astronomy, the telescope ultimately saw the light of day and was launched by the Ariane 5 rocket from the Coro base in French Guiana on December 25, 2021. It was then placed in orbit at the Lagrange point known as the L2 point, 1.5 million kilometers or 900,000 miles from Earth on the opposite side of the Sun. As you will see, this placement is critical for the telescope's survival in space. The launch of the telescope was a bit risky. The telescope had to be folded in order to fit into the Ariane rocket's nose cone, which is 5 meters in diameter, hence the moniker Origami Telescope. The main mirror was separated into three halves, and the sun shield was folded. The scientists were worried because James Webb had to unfurl without any help. This was a first because its predecessor Hubble had profited from multiple space flights to be repaired. The mission of James Webb was set at five years, but its energy stores will let it stay at the L2 point for at least 10 years. There will be some fantastic photographs by the time the telescope completes its mission. The James Webb Telescope has captured widespread interest due to its ability to capture images in the infrared spectrum. Infrared radiation emitted by stars, planets, and galaxies is essential for unraveling the mysteries of space. However, Earth's atmosphere obstructs a significant portion of this radiation, making infrared observation from the planet's surface impossible. In 1983, NASA's groundbreaking infrared astronomical satellite, IRAS, was placed in orbit, paving the way for the design of the James Webb Telescope. Scientists naturally sought to create a highly optimized telescope that could deliver exceptional performance in infrared observation. The James Webb Telescope promises to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe by unlocking the secrets hidden in the infrared realm. Additionally, James Webb Telescope's highly anticipated launch is set to fulfill a multitude of purposes throughout its mission. With a primary focus on the first galaxies that emerged shortly after the Big Bang, this revolutionary telescope will meticulously observe their diversity and unravel the mysteries of their formation. Moreover, the James Webb will delve into the atmospheres of exoplanets, seeking potential biosignatures that could potentially hint at the existence of extraterrestrial life. Additionally, it will cast its gaze upon Sagittarius A, the enigmatic black hole nestled at the heart of the Milky Way, 
and capture images that will complement those previously taken by an array of telescopes in May 2022. James Webb Telescope Extending Hubble's reach in the cosmos The James Webb Telescope project was initiated as a replacement for the Hubble Telescope, which was launched on April 24, 1990. While the Hubble primarily focuses on capturing visible light, the James Webb is designed to capture infrared light using its four advanced science instruments. This key difference allows the James Webb to peer deeper into the universe, revealing unprecedented insights. One of the significant challenges in observing distant galaxies is the phenomenon of redshift. On March 3, 2016, the Hubble released an image of the galaxy GNZ-11, located a staggering 13.4 billion light-years from Earth, making it the most distant galaxy ever observed. However, due to redshift, the image only revealed a shapeless red spot. Redshift occurs because the universe is expanding, causing light waves to stretch as they travel. The farther a galaxy is, the more its light waves are stretched, resulting in longer wavelengths, with red being the longest visible wavelength. The Hubble's instruments are limited in their ability to observe infrared waves beyond 500 million years after the Big Bang. This is where the James Webb comes into play, as it is specifically designed to see further into the infrared range, enabling it to observe objects that are even more distant and further back in time. By pushing the boundaries of our observational capabilities, the James Webb Telescope promises to unlock new discoveries and provide insights into the early universe that were previously inaccessible. How does James Webb work? The James Webb Space Telescope, a cutting-edge observatory set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, has a unique focus on the near and mid-infrared regions. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which can observe ultraviolet and visible light, the James Webb is limited to wavelengths ranging from 0.6 to 28 micrometers. This specialized range allows it to study the heat-emitting objects in the universe. To capture the light of ancient galaxies, the James Webb is positioned in orbit around the Lagrange point, which is a staggering 3,000 times further from Earth than the Hubble. This strategic location ensures that the telescope is not impacted by its own radiation or the thermal energy emitted by the Earth, Sun, or Moon, which could interfere with its observations. The side of the telescope facing Earth and the Sun would reach scorching temperatures of up to 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit without its sun shield. However, the James Webb's sophisticated sun shield and orbital positioning allow it to maintain an ultra-cold temperature of approximately minus 240 degrees Celsius or about minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. To put it into perspective, if the sun visor were a sun cream, it would boast a staggering protection index of 10 million. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced capabilities and meticulous engineering make it a formidable tool for unraveling the mysteries of the universe, allowing astronomers to peer into the depths of space with unprecedented clarity and precision. Its ability to observe the infrared spectrum and maintain extremely low temperatures makes it a game-changer in our quest to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. But what are we trying to observe in the infrared? Astronomers are eagerly anticipating the opportunity to observe the infrared spectrum, as it holds the key to unlocking profound insights about the universe. Their quest for knowledge is driven by a desire to comprehend the mysteries of space, ranging from the birth of the first stars and galaxies after the Big Bang, to the evolutionary processes shaping galaxies, the enigmatic composition of supermassive black holes, and the atmospheric makeup of distant exoplanets. The James Webb Telescope stands as a remarkable testament to human technological prowess. Boasting an impressive mirror with a diameter of 6.5 meters, 21 feet, it will effectively concentrate the incoming light for analysis. Equipped with three imagers and a spectrograph to capture and dissect the light, this cutting-edge tool requires a controlled low ambient temperature to operate. To shield it from the sun's heat, the telescope is safeguarded by a colossal sun's heel that spans the size of a tennis court. In its orbital dance, the James Webb Telescope orbits around the Grange Point at a velocity of 1 km per second, completing its revolution in a span of six months. Additionally, it synchronizes its motion with that of the Earth, encircling the sun in 365 days. 
These complex maneuvers allow astronomers to maximize their observations and gather invaluable data from the infrared universe, propelling our understanding of the cosmos to new heights. Just over a year since its launch, the James Webb Telescope has already surpassed all expectations, stunning astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Unprecedented images of nebulae, galaxies, stars, and planets have been revealed with astounding clarity, providing new insights into the mysteries of the universe. One of the most remarkable achievements of the James Webb Telescope has been its ability to capture images of nebulae in unprecedented detail. These images, which were previously invisible to the naked eye due to being in the infrared spectrum, have been colorized by astronomers to allow the general public to appreciate their breathtaking beauty. For the first time in history, we are able to witness the awe-inspiring intricacies of these celestial clouds of dust and gas. In addition to nebulae, the James Webb Telescope has also provided remarkable images of galaxies and stars located billions of light-years away. The clarity and precision of these images have surpassed all expectations, allowing astronomers to study distant celestial objects in unprecedented detail. Furthermore, the telescope has captured images of planets within our solar system, such as Jupiter and Neptune, with astonishing accuracy, providing valuable insights into their composition and structure. On July 12, 2022, NASA unveiled the groundbreaking first image captured by the James Webb Telescope. This historic photograph showcases the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 as it existed 4.6 billion years ago, and has been hailed as the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. However, it is worth noting that it is not the deepest image ever taken, as the Planck satellite had previously captured the cosmic microwave background, which consists of the oldest photons in the universe, in 2013. SMAX 0723 a compact cluster of galaxies located over 4 billion light-years away from Earth, is the focal point of this mesmerizing image. Despite its distance, the photographed area is no larger than a grain of sand, making the precision of the James Webb Telescope truly awe-inspiring. In fact, the image reveals 19 galaxies, a significant increase from the five that were previously observed by the Hubble Telescope. One of the most remarkable aspects of this image is that it illustrates a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, the gravitational lens. This effect causes light to be bent as it passes through massive objects, such as galaxies, creating a mesmerizing visual display. Gravitational lensing is the phenomenon where light is bent as it passes near a massive celestial body such as a planet, galaxy, or cluster of galaxies, resulting in the deflection and distortion of images seen by an observer. For instance, when a massive celestial body is positioned between an observer and a distant light source, the gravitational lensing effect causes the light rays to be deflected, leading to distorted images. In a recent observation using the James Webb Telescope, 14 out of 19 galaxies were observed to be tripled in the image, two were quadrupled, and one even had five images due to this lensing effect. The high resolution and detail of the James Webb image, surpassing that of the Hubble telescope, may enable scientists to measure the ages and masses of star clusters within distant galaxies more accurately, aiding in the development of more precise models of galaxies in their early cosmic history when galaxies were actively interacting, merging, and expanding into larger spirals, also known as the cosmic springtime. Detailed explanation of WASP 39b, following the initial deep field image, the James Webb Telescope has continued to unveil new findings, including a significant discovery related to the exoplanet WASP 39b. Data received from the telescope has revealed the presence of CO2 in the planet's atmosphere, marking not only the most comprehensive analysis of an exoplanet's atmosphere to date, but also the first detection of CO2 in such a context. WASP-39b, a gas giant resembling Saturn and located 700 light-years away in the Virgo constellation, has been found to contain carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, making it the first exoplanet outside our solar system where this molecule has been identified. Despite its significance, WASP-39b is uninhabitable due to its gaseous composition and scorching temperatures of over 870 degrees Celsius, nearly 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite its inhospitable nature, 
This discovery is groundbreaking for astronomers as it highlights the possibility of detecting CO2 on exoplanets beyond our solar system, including rocky exoplanets that may share similarities with Earth. The planet's close proximity to its sun, even closer than Mercury to our sun, allows scientists to study its spectrum and analyze its chemical composition when it transits in front of its star, providing valuable insights into the composition of exoplanet atmospheres. James Webb has made groundbreaking discoveries regarding the atmosphere of WASP-39b, not only detecting CO2 but also sulfur dioxide, SO2, marking the first detection of this molecule on an exoplanet. This exoplanet continues to break records with its unique characteristics. The presence of SO2 is believed to be the result of a chemical reaction caused by high-energy photons from its star, akin to photochemistry processes on Earth, such as in photosynthesis. James Webb also observed that the clouds in the atmosphere of WASP-39b are in fragments rather than uniform coverage, and the atmosphere lacks methane and hydrogen but contains sodium, potassium, and water vapor. These findings are crucial in advancing our understanding of the chemistry that governs exoplanetary atmospheres, and astronomers hope that this knowledge will aid in the development of models for the formation and evolution of these distant stars. Scientists were able to trace the formation of WASP-39b using data transmitted by the James Webb Telescope. It is believed that this exoplanet was formed through the collision and merging of very small rocky bodies. Over time, the planet would have approached its sun as it evolved. Exploring the enigmatic beauty of the Carina Nebula on July 12, 2022, the James Webb Telescope also captured and transmitted an image of the Carina Nebula, revealing a stunning landscape of mountains, valleys, and twinkling stars in a colorized photograph. However, in reality, it is a young star-forming region known as NGC 3324 within the Carina Nebula. While the Hubble telescope had previously captured images of the nebula, the images transmitted by James Webb were much more precise. A nebula is a celestial phenomenon composed of interstellar gas and dust that exists in the vastness of space. Nebulae can be categorized into different types based on how they emit or reflect light. Emission nebulae emit light from the gas they are made of, while reflection nebulae reflect light from nearby stars. However, there are also dark nebulae that lack illumination. The term nebula was originally used to describe any diffuse celestial object, but scientists later realized that this appearance could be influenced by observation instruments. Today, nebulae refer to regions in the interstellar medium that are rich in gas or dust. Nebulae are typically formed as a result of a supernova explosion, where debris from the explosion forms a cloud of gas and dust, creating a nebula. One notable example is the Carina Nebula, located approximately 7,600 light-years away from Earth, visible in the Southern Hemisphere. The Carina Nebula is often referred to as a nursery of stars, as it is a site where stars are constantly born and die, undergoing the natural cycle of stellar evolution. Nebulae serve as fascinating cosmic phenomena that offer insights into the processes of star formation and evolution in the vast expanse of the universe. NASA recently unveiled a remarkable find, a hidden gem captured by the James Webb Telescope. The image revealed young stars, offering valuable insights into the intricate process of star formation, akin to our sun. The high precision of the photo revealed even the dust disks that precede the emergence of a star. Nebulae, which are known to be fertile grounds for stellar birth, provide the perfect environment for gas and dust to come together, forming a dense ball. Gravity then takes hold, causing the gases in the ball to rapidly rotate and heat up. This intense heat triggers a nuclear reaction, transforming the ball of gas into a dazzling star. The discovery opens new doors for astronomers to deepen their understanding of the mesmerizing phenomena that occur in the vast expanse of space. A journey into Orion's nebula the James Webb Telescope, on September 12, 2022, captured a striking image of the Orion Nebula also known as Messier 42 or M42, which is the closest nebula to Earth located in the Milky Way about 1,350 light-years away. This remarkable photograph, colorized to enhance details, reveals the Orion Bar, a distinct wall of gas and dust within the nebula, with astonishing clarity. The trapezium cluster, comprised of the two brightest stars in the image, 
can be seen just in front of the Orion bar. These stars were born within the Orion Nebula approximately 300,000 years ago and are known for their high temperatures and massive sizes, emitting intense ultraviolet radiation that shapes the surrounding landscape. The Orion bar, slowly eroded by this radiation, along with other less dense filaments, is being swept away by the powerful forces at play in this cosmic spectacle. Even with binoculars or a telescope from Earth, one can observe the captivating beauty of the Orion Nebula and its inspiring features, as revealed by the James Webb Telescope. The Hubble Telescope's earlier images of the trapezium cluster's brightest stars revealed a less distinct view of the massive cavity they had carved in the surrounding nebula. However, the James Webb Telescope's ability to observe infrared light has brought about a significant advancement in image clarity. By penetrating through the layers of dust that obstruct the nebula, the James Webb Telescope captures more precise images. One such image displays a star cocooned within a protoplanetary disk, a staggering 40 times larger than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. This intriguing finding mirrors the conditions that led to the birth of our own Sun and its planets over 4.5 billion years ago. The Orion Nebula, captured in the James Webb's image, holds similar importance to the Carina Nebula in shedding light on the formation of our solar system. Moreover, this discovery gains further significance as research indicates that during the universe's earlier stages, when it was half its current age, starburst galaxies containing nebulae resembling the Orion Nebula were the most abundant. The magnificent Tarantula Nebula, a jewel of the Milky Way galaxy on September 6, 2022, NASA released another nebula photograph, this time of the Tarantula Nebula, also known as 30 Doradus and located 161,000 light-years from Earth in a large Magellanic Cloud Dwarf Galaxy. The Tarantula Nebula, located in the Milky Way, is the largest and most luminous star-forming region in the entire group of galaxies, and it is home to the hottest and most massive stars known. Stars are born at an alarming rate in this region of the universe. Astronomers are captivated by the Tarantula Nebula, as it possesses a chemical makeup akin to that of colossal star-forming regions witnessed during the early stages of the universe, billions of years ago at the pinnacle of the star-forming epoch. The James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a stunning image of this nebula, made possible by its powerful NIR cam, near-infrared camera, instrument, which has revealed thousands of previously unseen youthful stars. While the Hubble Space Telescope had previously captured images of the Tarantula Nebula, the obscured stars enshrouded by dust had remained elusive. The center of the image showcases a striking cavity within the nebula, surrounded by a cluster of massive, youthful stars emitting a vivid blue hue. These energetic stars generate a forceful outflow of energy, creating the cavity as they push against the material from which they were born thousands of years ago. Encircling the cluster of young stars, dense dust regions cloak the ongoing formation of protostars, adding to the intrigue of this cosmic spectacle. The planetary nebula of the southern ring similar to the captivating images of the Carina Nebula and the Orion Nebula, this newly released image of the southern ring planetary nebula, also known as NGC 3132 or Caldwell 74, holds significant promise for astronomers in enhancing their understanding of star formation processes. Planetary nebulae, named as such due to a historical misperception of them being mistaken for planets, are immense clouds of gas formed by dying giant stars as they approach the end of their life cycle. These aging stars become unstable and begin to expel their outer layers, creating these stunning nebulae. Remarkably, planetary nebulae disperse within a relatively brief time frame of 50,000 years or even less, a fleeting moment in contrast to the expected lifespan of dwarf stars like our Sun, which averages at 10 billion years. The probability of observing planetary nebulae may appear low, but in reality, with our galaxy alone boasting 200 to 400 billion stars, we have discovered over 1,500 planetary nebulae. Among them, the Southern Ring Planetary Nebula stands out, located approximately 2,500 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of the Veils. The remarkable precision of the James Webb images has revealed that this planetary nebula is not the result of a single dying star, but rather two. Indeed, the star at the center of the nebula is part of a binary system, with the second star being brighter than the dying star. 
The white dwarf that the dying star has become is influenced by the second star, shaping the gas and dust into asymmetrical patterns, giving the nebula its unique appearance. It is worth noting that dwarf stars like our Sun have an average life expectancy of 10 billion years, adding to the fascinating dynamics of planetary nebulae. The presence of dust around the second star indicates that it will eventually become a planetary nebula as it reaches the end of its life. Scientists are eagerly anticipating images from the James Webb Telescope that could potentially reveal a nebula within a nebula. However, since this star may live for a few million more years, it is unlikely that we will be able to witness this phenomenon in our lifetime. Meanwhile, we are captivated by the stunning images captured by the Near Cam's telescope, which showcase breathtaking landscapes such as arcs of matter, dust veils, and tentacles emitted by forming stars. Unveiling the secrets of ancient galaxies the James Webb Telescope, designed to advance research in various areas, holds immense potential for unraveling mysteries of the universe. It aims to deepen our understanding of the birth of stars, the formation and evolution of exoplanets, and the detection of light from the first galaxies that emerged just after the Big Bang. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble, the James Webb's ability to observe in the near and mid-infrared allows it to peer further back in time and witness the formation of the earliest galaxies. Additionally, it can penetrate through thick clouds of dust, revealing objects and galaxies that were hidden from Hubble's view. Equipped with four scientific instruments, including three near-infrared tools, the NIRCAM, the NIRSPEC spectrograph, and the NIRSPECTROIMAGER, and one mid-infrared tool, the MIRI spectroimager, the James Webb's MIRI instrument has proven to be particularly significant in complementing the capabilities of the other instruments. With its groundbreaking capabilities, the James Webb telescope is poised to unlock new insights into the formation, evolution, and mysteries of the universe, propelling astronomical research to new frontiers. The birth of the James Webb instrument, which is now a marvel in astronomy, seemed unimaginable at the beginning of its design project in the early 2000s, when only near-infrared was known. However, this remarkable instrument that could reveal the secrets of the cosmic dawn, the distant era when the universe emerged from darkness with the first stars, almost never came to be. The search for the oldest galaxies is of great significance to astronomers because they hold clues about the early universe after the Big Bang, which occurred approximately 13.7 billion years ago. Following the Big Bang, the universe went through a long phase of darkness as it cooled. About 100 million years later, due to the force of gravity, matter condensed in some regions, giving birth to the first stars, and subsequently, the first galaxies. Yes, but how? What physical processes are at the root of our universe's evolution? These are questions that astronomers ask themselves and would like to have answers to in order to better understand the origins of our world. Astronomers have been thrilled with the images and data captured by the James Webb Telescope, as they have exceeded expectations and challenged previous assumptions about the early universe. The observations suggest that the very first galaxies formed earlier than anticipated, and they appear to be more numerous and luminous than imagined. Astronomers' models did not foresee galaxies being so bright and abundant in the early history of the universe, as the James Webb data has revealed. To find galaxies with similar luminosity and mass as those discovered by the telescope, a much larger space would have needed to be probed, according to the existing models. The James Webb Telescope has opened up new possibilities for understanding the formation and evolution of galaxies, providing astronomers with unexpected and intriguing data to explore. Astronomers' understanding of the early universe has been historically chaotic, but the observations made by the James Webb Telescope reveal a surprising orderliness and calmness in the first galaxies. These observations challenge the current model of galaxy formation, which suggests that dark matter halos form at the origin of galaxies and then accrete normal matter like hydrogen gas to form the first generation of stars and galaxies. However, the observations from James Webb indicate that this model may differ slightly. The rapid formation of numerous galaxies cannot be fully explained by the current model, raising intriguing questions about the true mechanisms at play in the early universe. GSZ-13, the discovery of second most distant galaxy Several galaxies appear to be exceptionally brilliant among the old galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. 
they are the oldest already observed because they were present 450 and 350 million years after the Big Bang. Jade's GSZ-130, located 33 billion light-years away, would be the oldest galaxy, dating from a little more than 300 million years after the Big Bang. Thank you. It would break the record for the oldest galaxy, held for many years by GNZ-11, which arose 400 million years after the Big Bang. But, with the cosmos just 13.8 billion years old and a light travel distance of 13.6 billion years, how could jades be so far away? We perceive the galaxy as it was 300 million years ago after the Big Bang, but its true distance is 33.6 billion light years due to the expansion of the universe. We imply dilatation when we say expansion. The universe's dilation is such that the speed at which space dilates exceeds the speed of light. This indicates that jades will eventually depart our observable universe, which is smaller than the Milky Way. These galaxies quickly convert gas into stars. Astronomers are baffled as to how these old galaxies, which appear to be massive, could have produced so many stars in such a short period of time. According to current calculations, they would have formed only 100 million years after the Big Bang. Perhaps these galaxies are home to so-called population 3 stars, which are distinct from the stars we know and view from Earth. These very early stars are still hypothetical, they have never been sighted. Another surprise discovered by James Webb is that the ancient galaxies are not unevenly shaped galaxies, as Hubble's photos showed, but spectacular spiral galaxies like our own. Astronomers see this as an opportunity to learn more about the origin of stars. The nursing spec observations, which show that the primitive galaxies discovered by James Webb are 100 times less richer in metals than the Milky Way, suggest that these galaxies are still at the very beginning of their evolution. However, these metals are created by the stars. The James Webb Telescope discovered Glass Z13 in July 2022, and it is located at the top of the list of the most distant galaxies ever seen. According to the Glass Z13 redshift measurement, its distance from Earth is between 13.4 and 13.5 billion light years. It follows that viewing it from Earth gives you a view of the galaxy as it appeared between 300 and 400 million years after the Big Bang. We are still awaiting spectroscopy to establish its redshift, though. If it's accurate, this galaxy is further away than we had anticipated. Glass E13 is a protogalaxy, which means that stars are forming there with a lot of vigor. Its size is only approximately 3,260 light years, and its mass is only about 1 billion solar masses, making it both small and comparatively low mass. James Webb's near chem device captured images of Glass C13. Through the deep field, a broader image that was captured with a lengthy exposure period in order to capture the weakest glimmer, the telescope was able to detect it. In order for the visible spectrum observed by the telescope to be visible to the human eye, the image had to be translated. We can make out a somewhat hazy red circular shape with a white center. When glassy 13 was created cannot yet be determined. How a galaxy of this size could have formed so quickly after the Big Bang is a mystery to astronomers. Peter Van Dawkin, who has worked on the puzzle of ultra-diffuse galaxies, is one of the members of the team that found glass C13. The origin of ultra-diffuse galaxies is still unknown to astronomers. The very presence of these stars casts doubt on the hypothesis that galaxies form from dark matter, a theory advanced in particular by James Peebles, winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics. Only 2.5% of the universe's current age existed when time glass C13 was detected, according to Peter Van Dacke. Pending confirmation of the work, Astronomers suspect that massive galaxy formation may have begun much earlier than previously thought. Galaxy M74 Speaking of galaxies, the James Webb Telescope has captured some spectacular images of Galaxy M74, also known as Messier 74 and dubbed the Ghost Galaxy. Why is it called that? Owing to its poor surface brightness. 32 million light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Pisces, M74 is a spiral galaxy with an exquisite design. It has noticeable and distinct spiral arms, in contrast to other spiral galaxies that have an uneven structure. 
It was really found in 1780 by French astronomer Pierre Michel rather than James Webb, and Charles Messier later spotted it, giving it its name. This galaxy had already been photographed by Hubble, but the pictures were not very clear. The James Webb photographs that were made public on August 30, 2022, and that Judy Schmidt, an amateur astronomer who has worked on Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, recomposed, are more precise. James Webb was able to produce startlingly sharp photos of the galaxy's core by cutting through the hindrance of gas and dust. Amazing things were shown by these photographs. We can specifically observe that the spiral arms of M74, which contain filaments of gas and dust, are wrapping away from the galaxy's nucleus. There is a petrol shortage in the center of the country. Hill regions, which create stars, are those that are especially luminous. These are actually enormous clouds of hydrogen gas that are illuminated by the ultraviolet light of the nearby, blazing newborn stars. A multitude of features can be seen in a single photograph. Chariot will galaxy the red stars that are closer to the center are the oldest. The red bubbles in the hill areas are the newly forming stars, whereas the blue stars in the spiral arms are the stars that are the youngest. This is impressive and should help astronomers greatly in their quest to learn how stars and galaxies are created. A galaxy known as the Chariot Will Galaxy, which had never been seen with such clarity and accuracy, was also captured in stunning photos by James Webb. The wheel-shaped nature of this galaxy, which lies 500 million light-years away in the southern constellation of the sculptor, gave it its name. A deeper understanding of the origin of this galaxy and a prediction of its future evolution have been made possible by the composite image, which combines observations from James Webb's MIRI and NERCOM detectors. For astronomers, it would have initially began as a spiral galaxy similar to the Milky Way, then collided with another smaller galaxy at a high speed to give it its screen-like shape. About 400 million years ago, the collision would have taken place. Two rings formed in the collision center, resembling the concentric circles of ripples a pebble would have made had it fallen into water. The first ring in the center is extremely brilliant and displays boiling star clusters that were concealed in Hubble's photos by clouds of gas and dust. Since 440 million years ago, the second ring on the exterior has been growing. The ring initiates star formation by slamming against the gas surrounding its expansion, which generates a violent compression of mass. Stevens Quintet Galaxy we can even see the intricacies of other galaxies in the background that have been dispersed over billions of light years thanks to James Webb's photo's astounding precision. Stevens Quintet, a collection of five galaxies seen in the Pegasus constellation and first identified in 1877 with the aid of the Marseille Observatory's telescope, is one of the first photos from the James Webb telescope to be made public. There are five galaxies in this group, however only four of them are gravitationally connected. The brightest galaxy, NGC 7320, is the fifth in order, but from our vantage point, it only appears near to the other four since it is visible in their foreground. In fact, it is 40 million light years away from Earth, while the other four, NGC 7317, NGC 7318A, NGC 7318B, and NGC 7319, are 290 million light years away. The image you are looking at was produced by fusing 1,000 separate graphic files together. Thus, it represents Stevens Quintet in its most intricate form yet. NGC 7319, one of the four related galaxies of Stevens Quintet, is of particular interest to astronomers. A galactic nucleus that is active in this galaxy has a luminosity 40 billion times greater than the Sun's. With a mass of 24 million solar masses, this energy is produced by a supermassive black hole. Comparatively speaking, the Milky Way's supermassive black hole has a mass of just over 4 million solar masses. We were able to measure the gas close to NGC 7319 center black hole using the medium resolution spectrometer of the MIRI instrument built by James Webb. We can see from spectra measurements taken in close proximity to the black hole that the gas in the black hole's reservoir that is, in the gas reserves at the edge of the accretion disk, is colder and denser. There, which would absorb light from the central portions of the galaxy, are found to be significant amounts of molecular hydrogen and silicate dust. In terms of chemistry, these silicate dusts resemble beach sand, 
but their grain size is significantly smaller. There are elements like iron, argon, neon, sulfur, and oxygen present in the heated, ionist gases. Astronomers will be able to better understand the characteristics and causes of the plasma flows around the black hole by studying this data, therefore this information is interesting. Astronomers anticipate being able to examine the fusion and interactions between galaxies as a result of the accuracy of Stevens Quintet's photos. The Pillars of Creation was one of the pictures that had the most impact on the audience. When you look at this lovely picture with its blue, red, and gray tones, you can understand why. But what exactly are the creation's pillars? A Hubble photograph from 1995 made the Pillars of Creation well known. They are located in the center of the Eagle Nebula, Messier 16, a star-forming region some 6,500 light-years away. One of the Milky Way star-forming hotspots is the Eagle Nebula. Once more, James Webb's infrared vision has allowed us to peer past the gas and dust veils to show an area that is extremely dense with stars. In actuality, we can see a lot more stars on the James Webb image than we can on the Hubble image. The red streaks that can be seen in the dust and gas clouds are nascent gas balls that will later become stars, while the stars that appear as red dots are young newborn stars that are only a few hundred thousand years old. Yet another view of these pillars of creation, also known as pillars of destruction, is provided by another image taken by the Miri instrument. Why? Due to the erosion brought on by the constant UV light from young, massive stars, which shapes the enormous columns of dust. There is a good chance that these dust columns will vanish rather soon. Less brilliant stars are visible in the image that the Miri instrument created. In fact, the telescope's wavelength range of 5.6 to 25.5 microns is its narrowest range of sensitivity, and this range is where stars essentially emit no light. Only gas, dust, and a few newborn stars enveloped in their gas and dust cocoons are visible in the Miri image. On the photograph, some blue-hued stars that are no longer encased in this cocoon are also visible. Astronomers and physicists will be able to revise their models of star formation using these more exact photos of the pillars of creation. Exploration of Jupiter and its auroras Beautiful views of Jupiter, its moons, rings, and auroras have also been captured by the James Webb Telescope. These photographs, which are highly accurate, will aid astronomers in understanding this enormous planet even better. Jupiter has the potential to take up two and a half times the solar system's planets. Data from the James Webb Near Infrared Camera, NearCam, allowed for the creation of this stunning image. Clear visuals, especially for the general audience, have been produced using the gathered data. The regions that appear in red have the longest wavelengths, while the regions that appear in blue have the shortest. A reddish filter has been used to reveal the auroras and the light reflected by Jupiter's lower clouds, and a blue filter depicts the light reflected by a deeper primary cloud. The mists surrounding Jupiter's north and south poles have been colored yellow and green. Charged particles from the Sun react to its magnetic field to form ERS auroras. To put it another way, when these charged particles interact with the atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, they release light at a range of wavelengths that are unique to that magnetic field. In contrast to the auroras you can view at Earth's poles, those on Jupiter are always present. The ones with the greatest energy are those that result from the Moon's IO projection of matter. By being drawn into Jupiter's magnetic field, sulfur and oxygen ions and electrons from the Moon start to spin at the same rate as the planet. The aurora is produced by a series of waves, electric currents, and magnetic reconnections that build up on the orbit of Io before slowly departing. These auroras were like a radiator, heating the entire planet, according to a study published in August 2021. The Jupiter ring system appears faint in the image. They are one million times less brilliant than the globe, according to NASA. In the image, you can also make out the winds and storms that are present on Jupiter's surface. The Great Red Spot is a gigantic storm large enough to cover the entire Earth, however it appears white on the image because of how much sunlight it reflects. Yes, as amazing as it may appear to you, this enormous anticyclone in Jupiter's atmosphere exceeds 15,000 kilometers, 9,000 miles, in width and about 12,000 kilometers, 7,500 miles, in length, 
with winds blowing at 700 km per hour, or more than 435 miles per hour. Its measurements have previously been significantly greater. The Great Red Spot has been around for more than 350 years after its discovery in 1665. It was originally crimson, but with time, it took on a darker brownish tone. Two of Jupiter's 79 moons, Amalfea and Adrast, are also visible in a photograph. They are really tiny and hard to see. Discovery of Neptune and its moons In spite of this, James Webb captured the solar system's most magnificent photograph of Neptune's rings in the past 30 years. The image of Neptune's rings is the clearest we have seen since the Voyager 2 spacecraft passed by Neptune in August 1989. The James Webb telescope captured stunning images of the ice giant that were made public on September 21, 2022. These images are historic because they allow us to see Neptune's rings for the first time in infrared. Another aspect of these photographs that should surprise you is that Neptune does not appear blue, but rather white-gray. As a result of the methane in its atmosphere, Neptune appears blue when seen in visible light, which is why images obtained by the James Webb Telescope in the near-infrared have been colored white-gray. The image exposes further surprises, such as one of Neptune's poles, in addition to the planet's rings and interesting color. We observe what NASA refers to as odd light. Seven of Neptune's 14 moons, including Triton, which you might have misidentified in the image as a tiny star, were also captured on camera by the James Webb Telescope. The moon Triton is larger than the dwarf planet Pluto, despite the fact that this may appear unexpected. As a result, it is quite apparent on the photograph, especially when the sunlight is reflected off of its nitrogen ice surface and makes it appear as bright as Neptune. We may also see the moon's glacier, Naiad, Phalasa, Larissa, and Proteus on the photos because Triton reflects 70% of the sunlight that strikes it. These photographs have been enthusiastically received by astronomers. Neptune is difficult to visualize because of its distance from the Sun, which is 30 times greater than ours. Its surroundings are therefore rather black. Additionally, only one space mission, the 1989 voyage of the American probe Voyager 2, has been carried out to date in order to investigate and comprehend the eighth planet in our solar system. The rings of Neptune were discovered because to this trip. On Neptune, there are still a lot of unanswered questions, such as the odd black area Hubble found on December 15, 2020, which may or may not be a storm but changes in an odd fashion. Giant exoplanet HIP 65426b James Webb's groundbreaking findings continued as the telescope unveiled the first direct views of an exoplanet outside of our solar system on September 2, 2022. It is the gas giant exoplanet HIP 65426b, which is incapable of supporting life. As we currently understand it, particularly given that the atmosphere's estimated temperature is 1,400 degrees Celsius, or more than 2,550 degrees Fahrenheit. We currently know that it has a mass that ranges from 6 to 12 times that of Jupiter. Astronomers should be able to improve this estimate in the future using the data from the telescope. On the scale of planets, it would be quite youthful at 15 to 20 million years old. Of course, the Earth is 4.5 billion years old as a point of comparison. 90 astronomical units separate HIP 65426 b from its star. The ERS-1387 program, which focuses on direct observations of neighboring planetary systems, made its debut with the photos of HIP 65426b. The giant exoplanet LHS-475b-A rocky exoplanet, LHS-475b, located 41 light-years distant, has recently been verified by the James Webb Telescope. This exoplanet is 99% the size of Earth and shares many characteristics with our planet, including the possibility of an atmosphere. Even if it is just a little bit warmer than Earth's temperature, it is still a few hundred degrees warmer, putting Venus closer to it than Earth. Yes, LHS-475b is quite near to LHS-475, its star. The entire journey takes just two days. Its star is a red dwarf, making it twice as cold as the sun, hence the answer is yes. But the James Webb data still show very high temperatures. Currently, there are two possibilities, 
Either LHS 475B has no atmosphere or its atmosphere is entirely carbon dioxide, compared to 96.5% for Venus. Although analysis and spectroscopy indicate that there is no atmosphere in the area, a world with an atmosphere made entirely of CO2 would similarly appear that way on the spectroscopic reading. Together with another telescope, the 2018 launched ESS Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, James Webb was able to make this finding. This telescope features four wide-field cameras that scan the sky to gauge the brightness of far-off suns. By noticing a drop in the star's brightness, which could indicate that a planet was orbiting it, James Webb surmised the presence of an exoplanet. James Webb then used the transit technique, which involves watching for LHS 475b to pass in front of its star, to prove the object's existence. You might be curious as to how James Webb was able to miss this planet for a whole year. Well, it's only that James Webb's observation time is too limited and his field of view is too small for him to fixate on a single area of the sky for an extended period of time in the hopes of witnessing a transit, which is when a planet passes in front of its star. When an extraterrestrial planet passes in front of a star, we notice a drop in the star's brightness, which is already a significant sign of the planet's presence. In the summer of 2023, additional observations should provide scientists more information. Does the atmosphere exist in this tiny rocky ball? If there is an atmosphere, what is it made of? Could it be home to life from another planet? In any event, James Webb's discovery of LHS 475b is already encouraging because it demonstrates that the telescope is capable of discovering further rocky planets. This image from the James Webb spacecraft, taken in November 2022, shows the birth of a protostar. The young star L, 1527, which is roughly 100,000 years old and is located in the constellation Taurus, emits light that is shaped like an hourglass, earning it the moniker, Cosmic Hourglass, for this behavior. Material ejected from the developing star causes the hourglass to form. The material leaves the protostar and collides with the surrounding material, leaving holes in the Cosmic Hourglass's middle. A whirling gas disk known as an accretion disk that feeds the protostar with material can be seen as the protoplanetary disk. It appears as a horizontal bar on the photograph, partially obscuring the star. NASA and ESA claim that this photo of L1527 offers a glimpse into the early history of our Sun and Solar System. L1527 has not yet started thermonuclear fusion since it is still in the early stages of star formation. The observation of L1527 will enable astronomers to confirm what happens next, which is what happens next according to their models. Until fusion begins, the newborn star will gain mass, compress, and experience an increase in core temperature. A star will be born at this precise time. Envisioning the future, what awaits with the James Webb Telescope Our tour of the James Webb Telescope's most important discoveries is complete. That's pretty amazing, huh? The findings of the James Webb Space Telescope have astronomers incredibly happy. Numerous photographs were able to support theories. Now, in order to deepen our understanding of the development of galaxies and stars, it is necessary to carry out more detailed observations. James Webb is already booked solid for 2023. The telescope will concentrate on studying things in the Kuiper Belt in particular. Between 30 and 55 astronomical units beyond Neptune's orbit, the solar system's Kuiper belt is a ring-shaped region. It is shaped similarly to the asteroid belt, although it is 20 times wider and 20 to 200 times more massive. Pluto and Haumea, two dwarf planets, are among the ice worlds that make up the system and were left over from the solar system's creation. Astronomers want to learn more about these planets' atmospheres, and one way they plan to do that is by examining the solar arrays that reflect light there. The Sagittarius of Black Hole in the center of the Milky Way and the Iris Nebula will both be investigated by the James Webb Telescope in 2023. 1300 light years from Earth, in the constellation Cepheus, is the Iris Nebula, or NGC 7023. A cloud of dust that reflects the light of one or more nearby stars is what is referred to as a reflection nebula. Astronomers are interested in this region of the sky because reflection nebulae are frequently sites of star formation. The production of enormous Fulrinae molecules, 
chains of 60 carbon atoms, which is extraordinarily intricate for such a medium, is only one of the unusual phenomena that scientists have discovered in this nebula. Finally, some astronomers are hoping that James Webb will be able to resolve the famous dispute between those who think dark matter is real and those who, on the other hand, put up new theories. This is the case with those who support the Mond hypothesis, who think that in order to explain the formation and behavior of galaxies, the rules of gravity and mechanics should be altered. The modified Newtonian dynamics theory, or Mond theory, is a challenge to the idea of dark matter put out by American physicist Stacy McGaw of Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, in the 1980s. It could explain why the old galaxies detected by James Webb formed so quickly, which the standard cosmological model does not yet explain. The James Webb's replacement is already identified. The Roman Space Telescope is what it is called. By 2027, this new telescope, which will successor the James Webb, will be primarily focused on the investigation of dark matter and dark energy. However, on January 9, 2023, NASA provided a first look at the potential replacement for the Roman Space Telescope, a huge observatory. It is known as the Habitable Worlds Observatory, which is a temporary designation. This substantial observatory will contain a 6 to 8 meter long mirror for viewing in the visible, ultraviolet, and infrared spectrums. It will have the ability to find potentially habitable exoplanets and indications of extraterrestrial life. The first trip will involve carefully examining the 25 exoplanets that resemble Earth the most. This is the bare minimum required to statistically prove whether life is widespread throughout the galaxy. Technically speaking, this observatory's telescope will need to have extremely high stability, far exceeding that of the James Webb Telescope. We are finally nearing the conclusion of this incredible voyage that took us right into the core of the discoveries made by the James Webb, the most potent telescope ever built for astronomy. The photographs and data that James Webb produced have not disappointed astronomers, scientists, or the general public in the least. Numerous discoveries have been discovered in just one year. The telescope has surpassed scientists' expectations and verified the presence of a large number of previously theorized objects and phenomena. Additionally, it has shown that it is capable of finding exoplanets and analyzing their atmospheres, two key steps in the fascinating search for extraterrestrial life. But more importantly, James Webb might finally be able to provide us accurate explanations for how our universe came to be. Yes, since the telescope can view things that first appeared 100 million years after the Big Bang, enabling scientists to travel further back in time and perhaps one day solve the great riddle of the universe's birth. In conclusion, James Webb's incredible journey and the most beautiful discoveries of the universe have left us in awe of the vastness and complexity of our universe. From the birth of stars to the search for habitable planets, the James Webb Space Telescope is set to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Its cutting-edge technology and advanced capabilities will enable us to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, unlocking new discoveries and shedding light on some of the biggest mysteries of our existence. As we prepare to embark on this new chapter of exploration and discovery, we can only imagine the wonders that await us. Stay tuned for more updates and discoveries, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest news on space mysteries.